First off, happy 4th of July to all you Americans out there. Free grave diggers to whoever can get me a plate of some good old barbecue. Anyways, for today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with the Water Element Freedom's Herald pistol. And we're getting gameplay with this for a couple of reasons. For one, it shoots firecrackers, and today's the 4th of July. And for two, it's gonna be available in the event store tonight, so I figure some of y'all would like to see some gameplay of it before you spend your gold on it. And speaking of the event store, they're also gonna be adding a couple of reskinned heroes. One of those new heroes is called Stars and Stripes Penny, which is a reskinned version of Electro Pulse Penny. And the other one's called Stars and Stripes AC, which is a reskinned version of the Trail Blaster Outlanders. They're also going to be adding a new Lynx Assault Rifle. And the description that came with this Lynx Assault Rifle says that it's a slow firing burst assault rifle with above average headshot damage and excellent stability. And we'll be sure to try to get some gameplay of that later on tonight. And another item that's going to be available in the event store tonight is this Freedom's Herald Pistol. And I've had this one for a while, I just never had a chance to level it up. But I figured since it's going to be available in the event store, some of y'all would like to see some gameplay of it before you spend your gold on it. And I've actually had this Freedom's Herald for a while, so I don't exactly remember how I got it. But these are the perks that I have on mine, and I actually don't have enough resources to change the perks, so... We're just going to go ahead and stick with this roll for now. As you can see, we have crit rating, reload speed, it does water damage, more damage, damage to afflicted, and it also causes affliction. And at the very bottom it says special pistol, launches firecrackers that bounce off walls, and will knock back and damage enemies in a small radius when they explode. And for our loadout, we have Ranger Beetle Jess in our primary slot, because she has a few perks that help you do more damage with pistols. We're going to have Ranger Deadeye in our support slot because that's also going to increase our pistol damage. And we have Carbide in our tactical slot to increase the duration of our teddy. And we're going to be doing this level 100 deliver the bomb mission and we're also going to be doing it solo. Alright so before we get into the gameplay I did want to test it out against the level 100 smasher. So we're going to go ahead and test it out on this fire smasher right here and see how many rounds it takes to kill him. So uh, you only get one round in the magazine. So you're gonna have to reload after every shot. But yeah, as you can see, it shoots firecrackers every time you shoot it. And the firecrackers don't shoot as quickly as normal bullets do. So you're gonna have to take that into consideration as well. And you don't actually have to hit your target either. You can just try to shoot it to where it lands near the target. And if it explodes near the target, it's still gonna do damage. And yeah, it's sort of taking a while to take out the smasher. Obviously, we'd be able to do more damage if our perks were leveled up. But yeah, I figured some of y'all would be interested in seeing what it can do against the level 100 smasher. Anyways, let's go ahead and escort the bomb. The bomb is on the move. Keep it safe. And we're going to have to be careful here because there is a exploding death burst modifier. Uh, our so we can't let them get close because they'll do damage to us if they do. But yeah, I think the way I'm going to end up using it is just maybe try to shoot it either near the ground or get direct hits. It seems like that's going to be the best way to do it. Uh, we're doing pretty decent damage against regular elemental husks though. The connection has been lost. Let me go ahead and throw up a... Uh, oh, we lost our connection. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw up our turret. We have some extra enemies over here. Put that back. There we go. And when they explode, it can also destroy our tracks that we laid down. So we're going to have to try to take them out before they actually get to the track, if possible. And you can actually hear the firecrackers going off as well when they explode, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we will be getting gameplay of the Lynx later on tonight. Uh, we're also going to be showing a little bit of gameplay of the new Stink Bomb as well. Uh, that's going to be another utility item like the clinger, uh, the remote explosives, or the port of fort Another item you can find in containers around the map. And just like with other utility items, you're not going to be able to keep the stink bomb after the mission is over. It'll just automatically disappear from your inventory. So we'll try to get some gameplay of that as well, but we definitely plan on getting gameplay with the new links and I'm not sure if y'all will be interested in seeing gameplay of the reskinned heroes let me know if you all would and if you do let me know which hero you want to see gameplay of 
But yeah, I know we have crit rating on our pistol. Sorry. And you don't really need crit rating if you're playing as a ranger. Can't. Because they already have increased crit rating with pistols. So I think I may end up changing that perk to damage. Let's see what other perks we have on here. Uh, we also have reload speed, which is pretty decent considering you only have one round in the magazine. So you're going to have to reload often. Let's see, we also have damage, damage to afflicted. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up changing that crit rating to damage. And then we'll just level up our other perks. Let me know what element you all think I should put on my Lynx assault rifle. And I don't have enough perk ups to like fully max out the perks on that either. I've mainly been using my perk ups on traps lately, trying to max out the perks on my traps. But we'll still get some gameplay of it tested out against some smashers. Uh, let me know what element you all would like to see on the Lynx though. If I can get enough re perk, then I'll change it to whatever element you guys would like to see. The bomb is taking damage. I think we're almost done. Yep, here we go. That's it. We made it. All right, so I think we're just about ready. Let's go ahead and get started. And we are right at the build limit. I know it really doesn't matter if you go over the build limit or not, but we try to stay under it. Anyways, let's go ahead and start it. Here we go, people. Uh, they are spawning from the north and the east. Looks like most of them are coming from the north, though. And they broke one of our walls. That's not good. I kind of want to see if the firecrackers can penetrate the super shielder. Doesn't look like it. There we go. Alright, we got them. Let's go ahead and jump back up here. Try to replace this wall. They weren't supposed to go through there. Uh, we are using a couple of defenders. I just leveled up this new rifleman defender. So he's new. And we are using grandpa as well. And you can add more stuff after the defense starts. It won't affect the build limit at all on deliver the bomb missions. Let's go ahead and use one of our teddies. And I like how it lasts a little bit longer because of carbide. I'm not really worried about the husk that spawned down here. We sort of have an infinite loop down here. So as soon as they walk up here, they just get pushed down and have to start over. Uh, we can go ahead and try to take them out though, if we can. I'm not quite sure if it actually penetrates the super shielder. It's like sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Like right now, it's not penetrating the shield. It looked like we were able to kill one that was in the shield. So I'm not 100% sure when it comes to the super shielder. Uh, I was sort of hoping that we would get some mist monsters. It doesn't look like we're getting any though. There we go. Take these guys out. I wonder if there's a way we can shoot in there because it looked like earlier one of our firecrackers actually made it into the shield. Let's go ahead and jump inside. There we go. See, it's probably going to be better to go inside of the shield first. Stay in the fight. And then shoot. I was kind of hoping they would penetrate the shield, though. That would have been nice. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back up here and see how they're doing up here. Oh, they just broke through again. Let's go ahead and use another teddy. And a turret and pick up our rifleman defender. This is sort of a weird spawn for the deliver the bomb. I can't remember the last time I had to defend the bomb from right here. But yeah, it looks like everything's holding up for the most part. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a weapon you're going to want to use at all times. Maybe if you see like a cluster of regular husk like we see here. Uh, then it might be useful I'm under attack. or if you see a bunch of husk attacking a survivor I could see it being useful in situations like that but I'm not sure if you're gonna want to use it at all times and I feel like there's a lot of other weapons that are better especially when it comes to taking out mist monsters but I do like the firecrackers it's pretty cool uh, let's go ahead and check everything down here, here see how they're doing Oh man, we're almost done already. 
probably a good thing because we're about to barbecue here in a second. I think one of our defenders is down. I'm not sure which one because they both have the same voice. Uh, Grandpa and the Rifleman. This one's almost over. So I think that'll do it for this one. But uh, we did test it out against the Smasher and some regular Husk and Husky Husk. And again, I haven't really tested it with maxed out perks. But based on this first gameplay, again, I wouldn't really consider it to be one of the best pistols. But I do like the explosion. I feel like that could be useful in situations where the Husk are grouped up together. If you're short on gold and not able to get the Freedom's Herald pistol this week, I don't think you'd really be missing out on anything because... For one, like I said, it's not really one of the best pistols. And for two, this isn't an event type of pistol either. So you can get this from Llamas or Transform Schematics, even after it disappears from the event store. But yeah, just wanted to show you all some gameplay of the Freedom's Herald before you went out and spent gold on it. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. I hope y'all are having a great 4th of July and thanks for watching.